Let's talk about the Apple Watch and more specifically how to delete apps on the Apple Watch. I know this is kind of basic, but for people new to the watch, it's going to be probably useful. And also for people more experienced with it, there are some more things that you need to pay attention to. Some things have changed throughout the time and with the update. So yeah, let's get started with it. Well, it can both be done from the watch and from the iPhone that is paired to the Apple Watch. Which one is more convenient? I don't know. You are here to tell that for yourself. But if you hold down to the Apple Watch, the look is going to change from like a globe or like a ball look to really flat thing where every icon is shaking. Of course, you're not able to delete the stock apps, but only certain apps from Apple and all third party apps. This also doesn't work on every single Apple Watch. It depends on the version of the watch OS you're running, because as you remember on the older Apple Watch OS, if you hold down or force press on the screen on, of the Apple Watch, you're going to get the option to choose between the grid and list view, whereas this option has been removed recently, so you don't have that anymore. So it's really not that important if you long press or force press. So if you hold down, you get to this edit mode, which doesn't only allow you to delete apps, you can also move them around. And you can see those apps that have a tiny X icon next to them, those can be deleted. And if you click on it, that X, it's going to ask you to delete it, you confirm it, and it's going to be removed from the Apple Watch. This, however, doesn't mean that the watch is going to be, I mean, the app is going to be deleted from the iPhone. It only does not appear on the Apple Watch. Only the watch version gets deleted. So all of the data and all of the things you have in the same app on your iPhone will stay exactly the same. By the way, if you're new on this channel, what you can do in order to support it is to subscribe and this will also help you stay updated and know when new video comes out and learn some new important things for your Apple product. But anyways, you have that so you can delete them from the watch if you want to, but it's kind of, I mean, the screen is kind of small, you don't really manage it that well, but on the Apple Watch app on the iPhone, that has to be paired, of course, to the watch. You can enable it and actually make sure to delete it from there. The thing is that if you go to the app view and here you can choose from the grid and list view, just like I talked about. From this, when you get to the all apps section, you can only move them around. Whereas if you get the, the same section on the watch, you can move around the apps as well as delete them. But on the iPhone in this section, you can only move them around and change their location position and stuff like that. In order to manage apps, you have to scroll down a bit and you get to install on Apple Watch apps. And here are all of the third party apps that you can see. All of them can be shown here. And here what you can do is to click on whatever one you want. And there is only one option that pops up and that is show on the Apple Watch. If you don't have it green, if you don't have it turned on, you don't have the Apple Watch uh, with that app. And yeah, if you want to delete, simply uncheck it and it's not going to appear on the Apple Watch anymore. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, there are some apps that could be installed on the Apple Watch because you have them on the iPhone, but are not for some reason. And there is an install button next to them, so you can do whatever you want with it. That is, for example, if you decide that you delete an app on the Apple Watch, it's going to appear in the list on the Apple Watch app in the available apps. That means that you can always install it back if you want to. As long as you don't remove it from the iPhone, you can st still bring it back to the Apple Watch anytime you want. So it's really not that big of a deal or it's not, not like a huge decision you have to make. I would say, and that's just my personal opinion, and I would say that it's better to have everything set on the iPhone and like in the watch app, like you choose the apps you want to have there, you choose and set their positions on the grid view, and you go to the Apple Watch and to like a finished thing, you don't have to care about anything. The screen is kind of small, actually, so it makes more sense to manage it on the iPhone. But there is a still kind of limited chance, like a way to, to manage it on the Apple Watch. You can delete apps, you can move them around and stuff. But yeah, so this is pretty much everything what you need to know and should know about it. Now I want to say that I'm grateful for you sticking by all the way to the end and supporting the channel. 
If you like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. This does help the channel and the video as well. And it shows me that you actually found value in this content and in the video. So yeah, make sure to do that. Thanks a lot for watching and your support. See you guys later.